Hi and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I thought I would uh, give you a bit of a heads up about the new version of uh, Free Orchestra that has been released. Project Sam has uh, updated the original uh, Free Orchestra 1. Uh, they have updated that to 2.0 last year. The only problem is that I didn't even know they had done that until uh, they've released uh, Free Orchestra 2. So yeah, so if you don't know anything about Project Sam, they make some pretty incredible um, cinematic software, Symphobia, Symphobia 2, Symphobia 3 Lumia, and then Symphobia 4 Pandora. Uh, and as you can see, they are not exactly cheap, but they are um, kind of up there with uh, kind of heavy osity and some of native instruments. So, um, so yeah, so the Free Orchestra came out um, quite a few years ago, and I actually did a video back in 2020 um, on the uh, the original version. So the Free Orchestra is a cinematic introduction and it's 100% free. Um, orchestral strings, staccatos, uh, heroic horns, luminous choirs and dystopian drones for free. So basically they have completely updated the UI. So it is much, much nicer and added lots of new features in it. Um, the fact that you can actually stack up uh, 10 different instruments you can go and they've got this kind of like new browser where you can just solo uh, kind of these to uh, test them out and then you can bring them in like I said up to 10 in one instance so they've also added two new uh, instruments as well so there's now uh, 16 free uh, as opposed to 14 in the original you can kind of have a look at the walkthrough I'll I'll leave a link obviously to this in the description so you can have a look through the walkthrough and it kind of will explain so they now have multis as well you do need uh, contact um but uh, you can use just the contact player you don't need the full version um but you do have to install this through native access so you will need native access account and also you will need to set up a project sam account as well to get serial number because you will actually need to put in serial numbers before you can download this um, and then access it in complete control or contact. And then, like I said, it says you is free to use. There's no license limitations, and you are more welcome to use the sounds in commercial music projects. Um, and they are superb. I mean, it is quite e quite easily the the best free orchestral library uh, that you can get. So this is um, Free Orchestra One uh, Two Point Oh, and there is now uh, Free Orchestra Two. So last month they released the first of the free. Um, instruments, uh, which was the Lush Sul Tasto Strings. And what they're going to do is they're going to release one instrument every month. So it'll be the last Thursday of the month, I think it says. So you can build up another library um, over the whole year. So it started, uh, like I said, last month and uh, there's uh, uh, and it'll finish up in July 2024. So you're going to get another 12 free instruments from them. And that is cool so yeah so like i said you've got uh, one new cinematic instrument added each month includes sounds from across our acclaimed catalog recorded in beautiful concert hall environment extensive instrument control and works with the free player so like i said um it's obviously exactly the same ui as the updated um free orchestra one but it doesn't really say anything about what other things are coming up so you just have to wait and see so, so i will uh, switch over to logic and show you the new ui along with um, some of the new instruments and just show you how the new interface works so if you've got a complete control keyboard it is fully mapped to that you'll get if you've got the light gauge you'll either you know the light guide is mapped the eight knobs are pre-mapped uh, generally to obviously these six and uh, the volume and the mod wheel is generally uh, automatically set to the dynamics, which is this one on the right. So you've got volume on the left and dynamics on the right. And then you've also got another knob assigned to this control in the middle, which is different for every instrument. Well, um, we'll have a look at this in detail um, and listen to some of the sounds. So here we are with the new Free Orchestra 1 2.0 update. And as you can see, it is uh, very nice and very nice and large compared to the previous one. Um, and uh, unlike a lot of um, contact stuff, which is like tiny, you can actually, um, this is actually quite readable. The first thing is you have got a couple of new uh, instruments. You've got the uh, Organ Mystique 
and the uh, rich risers and then you've got 10 new multis so um, as i explained in the uh, the intro you can actually add in up to 10 instruments now on this so basically that's what the multis are so if i uh, load sign of hope you can see well there's only two but you've got the horns on sordino um, brave in the waves has got four um, and you can see on uh, the keyboard that they are split um, and overlap so um, so if I'll just play you a bit of this so that is the strikes the basses and the short strings and and that's the horns and the basses playing at the same time and they are overlapping so um, if you go into advanced mode you can see which each where each one is so you can see strike is there uh, basses is there horns is in the same place as basses and then you've got the strings up here so you can go in and adjust these so for instance we could take strike so that it's just down to a couple of notes you can get to a certain point and that's it it won't it won't go any further so let's say you can adjust it by a certain amount but you can't just like take it across the whole keyboard or something like that we'll uh, go to bombastic basses uh, and as you can see that is your um range there um, so you tend to stick in performance mode unless you are going to footer about. We'll go left to right. So you've got Master EQ. So you can switch Master EQ and that just um, adds additional low and uh, high boost, um, basically. Um, and you can also reverse the sample. So if we, I'll just move this up a bit keyboard wise. So this is the bombastic basses. So, um, like I said, this is pre-mapped to the uh, the keyboard. So uh, the volume is uh, this knob. Um, the velocity is on this side as well. So you can change that um, and change that to, for instance, uh, the uh, dynamics, and it will go to mod wheel. So if I adjust the mod wheel, you can see it is. This is the dynamics. So you can kind of switch between those two. It's either kind of normally either uh, dynamics or velocity. Um, that can, seems to be the, the two that uh, it kind of defaults to. This, this uh, central panel will change depending on whatever the instrument is. So for instance, this one is bass. So I can adjust uh, knob two and bump up the bass. And uh, the volume as well. And volume bass boost volume um, for instance the volume is before bass boost so volume should be obviously i would have said button two and bass beat and yeah so it and it because velocity is over here so um, yeah it's a wee bit of food tree but normally you have uh, attack delay reverb stereo filter limiter on uh, all of these um, and if you go into advanced you can go in and tweak the velocity and other things like the panning, pitch bend, the sense, dynamics, and whether you want round robin, release trails, or expression control, and also note stacking as well, which we'll have a look at later on, which is quite cool as well. So that is that is the basic new kind of layout for um, all of the instruments. Um, and let's say uh, you can actually reverse this as well. But that is not always the case. Sometimes it is the um, Octavia um, button there. So if we look at uh, Dystopian Drones, it has the Octavia, which uh, will add another octave. So if I play one key, it will play um, two notes, one, uh, one octave above the note that you are playing. So if you see there, it's possibly not the best one because you can hardly hear it. Uh, we'll bump up the scream. So you can see that it's uh, C2 and C3 that's playing. Ghostly Clusters, and this one actually has both. So having me just said that, it actually has both. So we can switch reverse and that on uh, and just see what this... Which is quite scary. Um, we'll take reverse off actually. Thank 
across is that quite a good one actually um, and like I said all the rest of the controls are generally mapped so I can change the limiter uh, the filter so you it really does help having um, specifically an S series keyboard where you've got the light guides the screens and all the knobs uh, that you um, require and there's generally two pages at most so that's the attack for some reason is on a separate page which is really annoying Sir, uh, Sordino Violins is very nice so Why contract is quiet? And that's the dynamics. And then the center one is dreamy. So we could actually add a bit more attack and a bit more This is one of the nicest things. Nice so instead of just having the octaver playing uh, two notes, you can actually make up some sort of weird diminished style chord. So if I try and click on a few things here and create something, um, and then if I play... said so that's pretty cool so you can just go in and obviously you could make you know you could have uh let's say uh a kind of straightforward major and depending on how much uh, keyboard you've got obviously you can play more than one at a time obviously sometimes you're only getting about um, two um, octaves depending on the instrument so that is a very cool thing to be able to do and I would say it's quite unusual I don't know why it's um it would be nice to have that on quite a few other things as well I'll show you the two new ones organ mystique um, as you might guess is kind of church organ um, and it has a sub bass one of the new ones and Richard risers so these uh, haunting string risers uh, from Symphobia 4 uh, Pandora feature adaptive sync so use the big knob to effortlessly match the risers to your music tempo try out the stutter control 2 all right so that is the stutter control over here so this one's a bit different so let's have a look at see what it's doing on it's doing on four beats all right so it just goes up to there all right let's try stutter Well, basically stutters, you know, basically gated. Right, so the volume's bloody low as well. Right, so we'll try it at eight beats. So basically you're just getting a longer rise. Oh. If you can actually hear that, it's really quiet. Um, so yeah, so um, it's not... Right. The best one. So let's ramp it right up to 16 beats and we'll try playing two at the same time. Yeah, that is so quiet. So that is one of the new ones, which I'm not really sure was worth adding. But uh, anyway, like I said, there's loads of other ones that are pretty good. Heroic Horns is another one that's pretty good. Yeah. 
yeah, Luminous Choir as well. So that's quite nice. Uh, and the control knob is, uh, right, I'll wrap the volume up. Uh, the control knob is a vowel. So it kind of changes. If you can hear that. does actually make a difference. Now I'll bump the dynamics up. So what we could do is we could add something to this. So if we click on the plus button, this is your instruments and that is your multis. Um, so we will add in another instrument. So we'll add in the um, the strings and uh, like I said, you can see there, there's a, there's a volume for each preset and there's also a solo and a mute. So you can muck about with these. So I'll bring the, maybe bring the choir down and bring the strings up a bit. Um, so let's have a look and see what that sounds like. So if you go to advanced, you can see if I click on that one, you can see that they are overlapping. So we can adjust the strings. Um, so we can take the strings down to th there. We'll leave one note gap, uh, two note gap, one note gap. We'll leave a, uh, we'll leave, um, we'll leave that there. So we can just play both individually, so they don't overlap. So this key is um, not doing anything. Um, so I probably need to take the wire volume up again and we'll take this down a bit so yeah uh, and there's octavers on that so we'll take octaver off the choir that's what's wrong So you can see that is how you do a multi. Uh, and we could add in another one. We could add in, for instance, the, uh, where's the horn? We could add in the horns, um, and that is in the yellow part. So. so you can get a horn. So that is a horn and, and voice. So we'll maybe take the volume of the horns down. So that's our strings. So yeah, so you get the idea and then you can just save that um, as a, as a new preset. So I've done six uh, kind of uh, multis already um, and when I've finished I'll do some more and then I will put them on the store for you to download and add in for free. Play some of their uh, multis. Curious Birds. Let's see what that sounds like. Maybe not. Um, let's see. Blood Trail which is Lowe's, Organ, Choir and Sordino. So you can add in Spooky on the, uh, the Lowe's. 
ty o mne slúži. Uh, Transylvanian teeth um, seems to have the most. So it has organ, short strings, sordino, basses, horns, lows, choir, and bursts. So there's still another uh, another one there to go or two. Um, so yeah, so let's just hear what this nightmare sounds like. Right, so we're in a uh, purple section, which is the kind of the spit, lows, choir, bursts. And the yellow section is the short strings and the Sordino strings. So I don't know where the horns are. Somewhere in there is the horns. Let's have a look. Uh, there is uh, in there. So. Somewhere around about there, possibly. No. So that's the horns in there. And then you've got the bases. And then short strings, and then the organ covers a lot of it as well. So yeah, so like I said, it um, that's maybe a bit over the top. I think you can have too many. Yeah, that is maybe too many. Lastly, I'll just play you one of my. Uh, let's try uh, cluster winds. You've got one cluster. And then so these are the uh, the clusters. Said pretty scary stuff. Um, so yeah, so they're pretty, pretty cool. And like I said, you can just muck about with these and play around with the uh, the key mapping until you kind of get something. Uh, and obviously, I've adjusted these, uh, and you can see mucked around with some of these as well. So that is it for Free Orchestra One to update. And uh, quickly, since this has gone on way too long, uh, we'll just have a look at Free Orchestra 2. Right, so this is uh, Free Orchestra 2, and there is only one instrument, because uh, like I said, this is the one that's going to come out every month for, uh, well, best part of a year. Um, so uh, so this is the first one, and it is Sul Tasto Strings. And Sul Tasto is a playing technique where the, the strings bow the instrument just over the fingerboard instead of right behind the bridge. The result is a soft, magical sound selected from Symphobia 1. And it is very nice. And it has a cloudiness and some dynamics on the module. And uh, if we switch uh, Octava on, we can... Um, so like I said, it's exactly the same kind of layout and UI as uh, as the Free Orchestra one, obviously, um, and it has the same advanced feature as well. Um, and uh, like I said, if you click on the library, uh, there is none. <laughs> there is that one. So September the 23rd, October 23rd. So it's 23rd or the 24th of each month. So like I said, I will be going back and uh, 
gradually building this up and eventually do another video um, once I've got maybe say half of them uh, and let you hear what they sound like. So that is it for the Free Orchestra 1 uh, update and Free Orchestra 2 preset. Uh, like I said, it's called Soul Tasto Strings. So anyway, so thanks for watching and as usual, if you are enjoying these videos, please like, subscribe, share, comment, whatever you like and as usual, I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.